Hi, this is Rob Bolaños. In this video, I'm going to be measuring the PSRR of a power supply. So, what is PSRR? Well, PSRR is the power supply rejection ratio. Okay, and it is a measurement that tells you how well your power supply attenuates a AC signal at the input of the power supply. So, in this case, here you would have your input and this is the unregulated okay and if you have a wiggle here the measurement that you're going to do is you're going to measure that input signal and then you measure the output which is the regulated and then you also measure how much that signal gets through basically so you're going to have a, two measurements. You'll have a V in AC and a V out AC. Okay. Once you have those two measurements, then you can put them in here. Okay. And if you connect channel 1 here of the body 100 and channel 2 here of the body 100, then you will get a negative PSR. PSRR and if you switch them let's say you connect channel 2 there and channel 1 here then you would have a positive PSRR so as long as you know that it's a attenuation then you should be uh, be able to take uh, a measurement okay so here is the pieces of uh, equipment that you need uh, you need a FR, uh, FRA. In this case, I'm using the Omnicron Labs uh, Body 100. And the second piece of equipment is you need a line injector. The line injector that I'm using is the Pico Test J2121A. And with those two equipments, there's no need to. Typically, you would use a a very large. Uh, uh, transformer to inject the signal but since you I'm using the Pico test I don't have to use a, a heavy transformer injection okay the other things that you can do besides measuring the PSRR with uh, the line injector uh, 2121 you can also use it to measure the input impedance and you can also measure the negative impedance so you have quite a bit of versatility you can do three measurements with the uh, line injector okay so here we have the J2121 and basically what we're going to do is we're going to connect the Bode 100 we're going to connect it in there and in my case I am putting 12 volts at the input okay and I'm going to have 12 volts coming out but then I'm going to have a wiggle. Okay, basically, whatever signal I inject here will appear here. Okay, now another thing that uh, is useful to know is that uh, this line injector you can use it all the way up to 400 volts and you can use it up to 20 amps, which is a, a pretty good uh, voltage and current range and like I said the line injector actually modulates the input signal and with this piece of equipment you don't need it there's no need to use a very heavy transformer or a big power amp which is typically what uh, 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 they've used in the past okay so here's a, a schematic here's your power supply here's the J21 21A and then you connect channel 1 here and then channel two at basically at the input and channel 2 at the output so this is the way you hook up your power supply okay so now let's measure the PSRR of my uh, power supply or my flyback converter Okay, here we have the Bode 100. 
already configured to do a power supply rejection ratio measurement. Another name for the PSRR is the audio susceptibility uh, measurement. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the output signal of the Bode 100 and we're going to feed it into the J2121A uh, line injector and then that line injector will take the 12 volts that you're feeding in and then you're feeding this 12 volts into your supply okay so by injecting that signal the injector is actually going to modulate it's going to provide that little wiggle or stimulus into your input bus or your input voltage to your power supply okay so now what you want to do is you want to make a measurement of your input voltage and your output voltage so essentially what you want to do is you want to see how much of a input disturbance will your power supply reject or attenuate so the input wiggle or stimulus it should be attenuated by the time it gets to your output so to do this measurement you have to connect channel 1 in this case it would be that channel 1 you connect it to your input bus or your input voltage terminal and then channel 2 you connect it to your output voltage okay so now when you take a measurement you're, you're taking a measurement of your VN versus your V out and a good power supply should be able to attenuate any signal any wiggles that are coming in uh, or variation in your line voltage it should uh, attenuate it uh, where you don't have that big of an impact on your uh, output voltage okay so once we're configured that config uh, uh, configured then we're ready to take a uh, body uh, measurement Okay, and we're going to go ahead and take a sweep from 10 hertz to 1 megahertz and we'll put the bandwidth of the filter to 1 kilohertz. We'll go ahead and press run and we can optimize the plot. Here's the plot. See if we can optimize it again. Okay, so here is the the plot showing the the rejection ratio. Okay, so basically at 10 hertz, you have a PSR R a little bit over 38, and goes above 40 at about 100. And then it dips down to about uh, two, three, four, at about four kilohertz. It drops down to about 30, and then it goes back. So remember, this is the the amount of uh, attenuation and uh, that you see from the input to your output voltage. So basically, this is your power supply rejection ratio. Another name for this is audio susceptibility, and that's something that that is done uh, when you do testing that's one of the common measurements that you do so this is the way you do the uh, audio susceptibility or the common or the power supply rejection ratio